What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thomas Gaming here. We've got level 18. These boots are made for Stompa. Free play for Lego DC Super Villains. Now we are officially in the home stretch as this is one of the last couple of free play levels, but we're gonna go ahead and find that character token for the Omak operative. We're gonna get that 8x stud multiplier. We're gonna get that true villain of 25k, which is easy peasy with our 2x and our attract stud red bricks on. And we're gonna get all five of those mini kits and find that post location as well now if you are in a hurry we have those quick links down below in the video description meanwhile we're gonna go ahead and toggle over from our map and choose level 18 these boots are made for stampa which character you choose doesn't really matter as you will have access to all of your unlocked characters just make sure you have completed the story and you should be good to go now hey quick shout out to Tyler P for hooking up all of the collectible locations it has been a super sweet ride with very little turbulence in fact we are Coasting into the final stretch here with the last couple of levels, and I do say it has been a rather nice experience. We tried to get these out as quickly as possible for you guys, and that was actually a reality thanks to Warner Brothers hooking us up with a copy of the game and hooking us up with that early access. So, pretty sweet deal for not only us, but for you guys too, as you guys reap the benefits of having all these videos ready and a day one trophy achievement guide on our website, thanks to Tyler P's hard work. So to the air yeah. we'll go ahead and mash and build up the targeting pad there we have a little bit of a delayed reaction after we toss quite possibly the best disc golf shot ever and you can see it bounces up and hits that target and opens up the door so we can get inside to the main battleground that's right it's a battle royale we gotta fight three of these unsuspecting baddies Lashina or, or Lashina I'm not not exactly sure which way it goes either way works I suppose but uh, you know we'll go ahead and get up close and personal and give her the old cha 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 she is one of the easier bosses however glitch alert yeah I'm not sure what's going on here I could not toggle you can see there's no icon telling me to switch to another character I cannot hurt her and she's not doing any damage to my guy either until she finally rips him to shreds that's all right, though. She then gets her spin on, gets a little bit dizzy. So we'll go ahead and get up close and personal and deplete her that meter. Next up, Stompa comes over and, well, he stomps off part of that scaffolding there, revealing some silver bricks, which are going to be part of the completion here in a minute. But we're going to skip all that and jump off to the far left side. That's right. We're going to need somebody who can fly and somebody that's got the silver brick breaking ability as there are six of these silver flags or banners, whichever you want to call them, scattered throughout here. Now, I did find that you can take some of these guys out with the right weapons. The old cha-cha-cha-cha does not seem to work, though. But go ahead and basically start on the left and make your way around the room, and you should find the first three on the left side and the next and final three on the right side. It is a little bit of a funny angle, as I like to say, as we have to kind of stand on the edge of the ledge in order to get the targeting to go ahead and target those silver banners. But, oh, what's that next step? It's a doozy. But you should be able to get all of them with pretty good ease. And once you get all six, oh, five, psych, ha, ha. no, six, ha, ha, fooled you again. Once you get all six, you will go ahead and collect that first mini kit. So, sorry about that. Anyways, mini kit number two is actually going to be over to the far right side. There is a clue that we were going to use somebody with a tracking ability. And this was a new one for me. I was unaware that Aquaman had the ability to use those tracker spots. So, pretty cool. He actually follows that all the way to the end and reveals a diggy bit. I don't know what that is that we found, but it looks a little on the stanky side. Hopefully we got some hand sanitizer for that to go ahead and clean up after we's done. But uh, we should find some buildable bricks, assemble them into a mini kit. Make sure you grab it before moving along. And you probably notice there's this giant gold box. Switch to your favorite gold melter and get your melt on. We're gonna go ahead and build up. No, not a mini kit. They actually made it a little different. It's a, it's an angry drone. Urgh. But you know what? He's only angry because he's not containing his mini kit but he went and grabbed it for us thank you we'll go ahead and take that from him collect it throw it in the bag as we like to say now we're going to fly up up and away and you might want to pay attention to that statue but not yet we're going to actually go up and above where wonder woman is kind of uh, seeing stars there and at the very top level you can smash and reveal a poster switch to your favorite graffiti artist here we're going to use the riddler on this one and go ahead and is that hawk hawk man hawk, hawk, who is that 
Who is that there that we just sprayed over? Tell me in the comments down below. I'm always behind on this stuff, but I, I like getting edumacated. I like you guys telling me what's good. Hey, now, remember that statue I was talking about on the right that has the silver? Well, there's also one on the left with some gold. Feel free to go ahead and use somebody like Superman to melt that gold on down. And we're going to have to step on where the statue was, but we have to wait for them stuffs to go away. Look at that. That took a long time, but what we need now is somebody with the reflector ability. So... Wonder Woman will do just fine. Go ahead and switch on over to somebody with a shield and get your reflection on. Now we got to go up a little bit higher, right above Wonder Woman, basically. There is a little, it's a little power dial. Notice I hit it and it started spinning. Definitely where you got to hit it. And look at that. The mini kit comes dropping down and wait for it. We're going we're gonna to say hi. Oh, hello, twins. Hi. She doesn't look so good, does she? Anyways, moving along, far left side, kind of where we started with those banners, you might have noticed an x-ray puzzle. We're going to need somebody like Batman to go ahead and hop on here and complete this little adventure here. Now, Cyborg, there's a handful of characters that can do this. doesn't have to be Batman, but he is definitely a go-to guy. We need to spin this around and connect our pipes. La, la, la. It's pretty easy peasy. And you get the character token for Omak Operative. I, I hope I'm saying that right. It could be Omak, kind of like mac and cheese. Anyways, uh, we're going to switch back over to somebody who can fly so we can get off this uh, balcony on the left-hand side. But what we really need to do is make it to the middle ground here and find somebody with the ability to manipulate plant. Now, I don't know if this is chlorokinesis or plantanesis, as I've been calling it this whole time. I'm pretty sure it is, but go ahead and water that flower and collect that red brick. Now, last but not least, we have to advance the story a wee bit in order to get the fifth and final mini kit. So go ahead and toss something to break that silver brick out there on that right statue and build up the elements that it leaves behind to go ahead and, oh, here's the moment. You know, that, you know how, you ever seen that family guy where every time they watch a movie, they say the title of a movie? He's like, oh, they said it, he said it, he said it. Oh, look at that. They did it, they did it. That boot was made for Stompa. <laughs> oh, to the yeah. All right, now that we've gotten that statue on the right dealt with, we're actually going to fly out there and stand on that pillar, and it's going to present four targets on this wall here. Now, you're going to have to have better aim and a little bit quicker reaction time than I did. But uh, second time's a charm for me. Somebody like Batman with a Batarang would also be a good person to finish that out there. But uh, once you get all four of those and collect your fifth and final mini kit, you should be good to go ahead and take on Stompa for the final battle. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. That's right, we've actually uh, just got to depleter his meter. But see, he's kind of a wuss. He jumped off once we got him down a few hearts and sent in a couple of his baddies. And guess what? We didn't have any problem erratic. That's right. We got those guys eradicated, and we're going to go ahead and take on... Uh-oh, it's Mad Harriet and her claw of fury. That's right. She's going to go ahead and spin around and try to give us the business, but I do not let it happen. I get up close and personal, and look at that. She is down and out for the count, so Stompa is back in. Now, look, does Stompa, Stompa have, like, a, a nice little man pony, or is that is Stompa a, a, a woman? Is, is it a female, or do we know? I, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't actually listening to any of the commentary that they provided, like, their voice acting for Stompa, so I, I am totally clueless. But, uh, you know, kind of built very muscular and very large, kind of reminiscent of, like, you know, Hulk or somebody. But I, I couldn't tell if that was a male's or a female's. But, hey, that's going to wrap things up for level 18. These boots are made for Stompa. Check this out. We're going we're gonna to prove to you is what we just already proved to you. We got that true villain stud requirement of 25K. It was pretty easy. In fact, we got that right away. But, hey, we got 5.4 million. We almost got enough to buy a couple of red bricks that we got sitting. But I don't know if we are even going to – I don't know. We'll see. We get all those mini kits, and it reveals a whole bunch of studs and stomp. But now those lips are looking a little bit mm, – I don't know. I'm still not sold. If you guys could still kind of inform me what's going on there, that would be – Super! All right, uh, 8X studs. We also got that poster. And like I said, we got the true villain. So all of the remaining ghoul bricks should be ours. And yeah, we also got that character token as well for the Omak operative. So 
Yeah. Now, uh, you might be scratching your head. Why, why was there a little bit of that Lobo cutscene in there? Well, I was slacking on the editing, guys. That's my bad. But hey, that's officially going to wrap things up for LEGO DC Super Villains. Level 18, these boots are made for Stompa. Free play. Oh, one of these days I'm going to. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it, though. As always, until next time.